Hello everyone, Derek Roddy here at beautiful Dromeo Studios. I wanna talk about my double bass technique or lack thereof. Check out this video. Okay, so let's talk about what we just saw here. My technique is a little unorthodox in that I basically play for my hip flexors. So as you can see, when my feet are just playing on the floor, that my heel and my ball of the foot hit the floor at the same time. I've called this flat-footed in the past, um, just because the sole of my foot hits the floor in a flat surface area. Now, if you'll notice, what happens is when you move that motion from a flat surface like the floor up onto an angled surface like the pedal, it looks like the motion changes, but it really doesn't. Everything is still coming from my hip flexor. What you will see is the fact that my heel, being that it's up off the ground because of the angle of the pedal board, does give the illusion that there's a lot of ankle being used. And there is, there is a little bit of play in the ankle, but I'm not playing from the ankle. All of my playing when I do this comes from the hips. Now, in addition to that, you will notice a slight difference in between my right foot and left foot positions. This is simply because my left foot spent more time on a hi-hat stand when I was growing up <laughs> learning how to play than it did a secondary bass drum. Now that I'm playing two different bass drums, it doesn't seem to bother me so much and I don't really pay much attention to it. And hey, if it's not broke, why fix it? Okay, so there you have it. This is an example of my technique with double bass. And if you like this, definitely head over to Drumio. I have a whole course about speed drumming, learning how to do all of this stuff. Check it out.